Me and Josh got married in 2005, and we had, we had a wonderful marriage. We knew that we loved each other from the beginning. And before we got married, um, I went on the road with Josh, and we used to haul cattle. And, um, and whenever we hauled the cattle, we had to stay awake, so we would use, um, we would use certain drugs to keep us awake and we ended up um, using drugs on a regular basis. So me and Josh, we ended up um, in foreclosure of our home and we realized, you know, hey, all this is basically from the lifestyle that we're living. We're, we're using drugs. Um, we're not disciplined with our money at all. We didn't attend church. We never turned to God for anything. We thought we had the whole situation under control. So we decided, you know, we're gonna get clean and we eventually, we did get clean. But on August the 20th of 2010, I hugged Josh at 5.30 in the afternoon, and I told him that I loved him at 6.30 for the very last time. At 7.30 on August the 20th, I got a phone call that Josh had crashed his motorcycle. When I was in the private waiting room, I had my first conversation with, with God. I, I hadn't spoke to him in, probably 10 years or longer. And basically I told God that he was not gonna take Josh away from me. And within three seconds, the doctor walked in and he told me that Josh had passed away, that his heart wasn't strong enough. But in that moment of desperation, I also knew that if I was gonna get through it, that I had to have something in my life that I hadn't had. So I gave myself to Jesus Christ that night at the hospital. In the, in, in the most total moment of desperation, I gave my life to Him. And, and I experienced Him for the first time in my life. I remember the, the morning after how I felt. I had this almighty strength. And I was determined that I was not going to cope using drugs and alcohol like I had in the past. And I didn't. I, I, I sit here today three years clean and sober. One day I started scanning the dial and um, I came across this really cool song. And um, the name of the song was Born Again by Third Day. And this was the first Christian song I had ever heard in my entire life. I knew nothing about Christian music. So Christian music and Christian radio brought me into Christian singing. So here I am now, three years later, a national recording artist. I've, got, I've had a top 10 record, and I have to give all thanks to God because this is something that I never dreamed that I would do. He's, he's opened so many doorways for me, and I see life totally different now. I, I've, I've, been, I've so not been deserving of, of what He's given me, and I'm so thankful. My name is Brandy Allison, and I've been ransomed.